Alright guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be a conclusion to last week's video. We already announced the winner. Um, did a quick short, so that person, you know who you are. And let's get right to it. See what these woods are. And it's not going to be this video, but there's going to be another one this week with five new ones. So be ready. The first wood that you guys looked at last week, I think it was this board, but this is all Kiop. It's in the same family as the Pawtuck tree. That's the red woods that you guys see a lot. But it grows in Africa. The color schemes, I don't know how well. This is 4K, but it's got golds and, you know, some tans and light browns and, you know, oranges. It's a real, really cool looking wood. This is a nice piece. But in Africa... The two things that it's really known for is its musical properties and medicinal use. Which, I mean, ringworm, malaria, stomach pains, black water fever. I don't know how much of that stuff is FDA approved or how well it works. But that's, that's something that it's used for. So, yeah, and, and musical instruments. There's an instrument that they make in Zimbabwe... I can't pronounce the name. It's like M-B-I-R-A or something. It, traditionally, this is the wood that it's used with. So, okay. It's uh, Jenka Hardness is about 1360 And it goes for around $20 to $28 a board foot is what it typically costs. So, as far as the exotic scale goes, it's not real expensive. Yeah, and it's the only wood out of the five that we're looking at that I haven't worked with. So, I don't want to read, tell you guys something that I read and pass it on as, you know, usable information. So, okay, number two. This was the blank that you guys were looking at last week. And this is what it looks like, rough sewn. It's Indian ebony. Um, it's the OG of black lumber coming out of India and Sri Lanka. But more recently, we're seeing a lot more Gabin and Makassar ebony, even though they're just as expensive, if not more. But these trees are under restriction now. It's not illegal to import them to the U.S., but it's uh, Mun ebony has been restricted for some years. I don't know exactly how many, but... That was another one that was really cool. It was black and it had some green in it. It was awesome. The Janka Hardness is around 2430. And it's it's really hard and it even keeps a pretty heavy dry weight to it. So Indian Ebony tends to be less oily than like a Gabin. So as far as gluing properties go, the Indian's going to be probably a little easier than Gabin. So... You can make stuff as small as piano keys or over there as big as bridges. That's what this stuff is used for, amongst other things. Number three. This is Pacana. That's what this wood is. Pacana is a close relative of Bacote. Um... Certain pieces have a certain similarity, but it is not the same tree. Even though this one almost looks like it has the, the eyes like the Bacote typically does, or certain cuts of it. But yeah, this stuff is around 220-ish for Janka Hardness, 2200 It's about $30 a board foot. It's used in all types of stuff, cabinetry, turning, boats. Uh, furniture, whatever. Little fun fact for you, the darker this wood is, the more insect resistant it tends to be. So, there's your little fun fact. Okay, number four, Red Heart. This was the piece you guys were looking at last week. This is a South American wood. Um, even though it's in 4K, I wonder. Actually, let's get a little more light over here. This wood is something else. 
I hope that this is turning up well on everybody's TV. I can't wait to see this video when it's done. I, I hope that it's able to show all all the beauty of these boards. This this wood is it's easy to work with. It's, it's uh, the Janka hardness is only 1210, so it's you know somewhere around the oak. Though the grain feels different, it's a diffuse porous as opposed to ring porous. So, um, yeah, but the it, it's not super hard or anything. It's it's a really lovely wood to work with, um, and it's obviously got sick grain patterns and colors, reds and purples and pinks and maroons, and the grain shows a lot. Not like you know. Poidu, which is very drab. It's red, you know, but it's there's there's not much figure to the wood or or much going on with it, unless of course you got like Ambonia burl, which is the burl from it. But last but not least, this is Indian rosewood. That's what this is, and it is a it is a true rosewood. So. The color schemes to this, regardless of how it looks in the camera, it can be pretty difficult to to discern because it depends on what angle you're looking at or the particular piece. The end grain is really cool in this wood as well. This wood is a bit harder too. It's around the 2400. Uh, it's it's mixed. I've I've used this wood. It feels less to me and I think I seen somewhere that they had it listed more around 18 something but you know and it and it will I mean if 20 different people do tests on 20 different trees it'll probably vary somewhat though 18 to 24 is a pretty big jump yeah this is a piece of rough sewn right here the the coloring in it is light browns dark browns it'll have like purplish browns to it and it also depending on the cut it gets a lot of cool undertones so depending on the angle that you look at it the color scheme will seem to change you know it'll it'll vary it's super cool wood it's pretty expensive not at the high end but definitely not at the low end it's anywhere from 50 to 70 bucks a board foot and if you find if you find any where they have particular cuts that are for like a, a guitar fretboard or, you know, musical instruments, it could be a lot more than that. So real figured pieces could be very expensive. Yeah, it's, I had no problems. I've used this before in multiple projects. I've had no problems turning. I've had no problems with gluing. And I've even used it in certain high-end end grain cutting boards, butcher block type. And it's it's a beautiful wood. So alright, that's all I got for you guys this week. Um we'll be releasing another one probably later this week, um, in a few days or whatever. Maybe over the weekend, blah blah blah. We'll see what happens. Um five more woods, another contest, more prizes being given away, and uh yeah, that's about it. If you guys got any enjoyment out of this, I'd love for you guys to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.